Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the Book of Wisdom. Love justice, you would judge the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness and seek him in integrity of heart because he is found by those who test him, him not and he manifests himself to those who do not disbelieve him. 
for perverse counsels separate a man from God and his power put to the proof rebukes the full hardy because into a soul that plots evil wisdom enters not nor dwells she in a body under death of sin for the holy spirit of discipline flees deceit and withdraws from senseless counsels and when injustice occurs it is rebuke for wisdom is a kindly spirit yet she acquits not the blasphemer of his guilty lips because god is the witness of his inmost self and the sure observer of his heart and the listener to his tongue for the spirit of the lord fills the world is all embracing and knows what man says the word of the lord thanks be to god guide me o lord along the everlasting way guide me lord along the everlasting way o lord you have probed me and you know me you know when i sit and when i stand you understand my thoughts from afar my journeys and my rest you scrutinize with all my ways you are familiar guide me lord along the everlasting way even before a word is on my tongue behold O lord you know the whole of it behind me and before you hem me and you rest your hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attain guide me lord along the everlasting way where can i go from your spirit from your presence where can i flee if i go up to the heavens you are there if i sink to the nether world you are present there guide me lord along the everlasting way if i take the wings of the dawn if i settle at the farthest limits of the sea even there your hand shall guide me and your right hand hold me fast guide me lord along the everlasting way please stand The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were to put around his neck and he be thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and return to you seven times saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. And all the apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, 
be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Ako po ay na-assign sa formation community naming mga Agustino since 2014. And it is um, heartwarming to see your old students become priests, no? become deacons, become your fellow brother. Along the way of our journey in the seminary, no? in a community context, there will come a time na living in the community, we somehow infect one another. Infect one another in such a way, sometimes good and sometimes bad. Sometimes, um, if a practice has been there for quite some time, no? mahirap itong um, baliin dahil nakagawian na. Pero parati kong sinasabi sa kanila, no? we always go back to the teachings of Jesus, to the values of the gospel, wherein we are to promote it, first to ourselves and then to our people. No? Pero hindi may iwasan na somehow nagkakaroon din ng culture ng kasalanan, no? kahit sa loob ng formation community, and even among us priests and religious. No? Kaya nga, ang sinasabi palagi ay, check, no? check our values, no? check how we infect each other. Because along the way, no, we are a community of disciples. Why am I telling this to you, my dear brothers and sisters? This is the context that Jesus is, ref, would like to reflect us in the gospel. He said that things that cause to sin will inevitably occur. But woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were to put around his neck and he'd be thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. Little ones. Pero mga little ones, pa ba tayo? Perhaps, sa mga adults, no? alam na natin kung ano ang tama at kung ano ang mali. No? Pero, naaakit pa rin tayong gumawa ng mali. Naaakit pa rin tayong gumawa ng mga baloktot na bagay na hindi naayon sa Ibanghelyo. And we may ask, bakit? No? Bakit? Siguro marahil lang sabihin ng iba ay, Okay lang yan. Ginagawa rin naman ng iba eh. Okay lang yan. Nagiging culture lang din naman yan eh. Masawag ka lang ma-huli. No? Kaya sinasabi ko palagi sa mga estudyante ko, no? kahit wala man akong formator ninyo, always remember that God is there watching. God is there looking at us, checking on us. And we are invited today through our reflection to check no? whether what we profess, no? our professed image, is also kapareho doon sa operative image. No? Kung yung ating pinoproklama na tagasunod tayo kay Kristo ay nagagawa rin natin sa ating mga ginagawa. Ang hamon sa ating ngayon, mga kapatid ko, kay Kristo sa araw na to ay marahil tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili. Have I been a good witness to that faith that I profess? Nagiging totoo ba ako sa pananampalatayang aking pinapahayag? Ini-inject ko ba ito sa iba? O hindi? Paano ko ba maipapasabuti ang aking pagsasaksi kay Kristo sa aking buhay? Am I willing to do one of the most difficult tasks in my Christian vocation 
contained no? in the spiritual acts of mercy. That is, kung may nakitang mali, i-rebuke. At kung kayang pagpasensyahan, pagpasensyahan. Because along the way, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all co-pilgrims, no? co-journeer in this life on earth. And Jesus is encouraging us through our reflection today to be good examples to one another. Forgive one another if we commit sin. Rebuke one another. But we all do it out of charity, out of loving concern, so that together as a community, all of us in faith will be able to restore that original state in us. No? Anong original state, Father? Original image. No? Na lahat tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. At pilit sana natin itong pagtrabahuhan at wag tayo maging mitya na maging magkasala ang iba dahil sa atin. Ito ang hamon sa atin ngayon, mga kapatid ko, kay Kristo. We are invited to reflect on our capacity to be good example, to forgive offenses, and at the same time, be patient in our ministry of guiding one another patiently out of love. Guiding them through the very example that we live in our daily lives as Christians. Amen. Please stand. Our Master teaches us that discipleship means radical rejection of evil. Our prayers today are offered with a will to make sacrifices to follow the Lord. And every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be victorious in her struggle to fight evil in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak and act against the evils corrupting our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their trials and offer their hardships for the conversion of sinners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may be led to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, give us the courage, the courageous faith that we may be strong and determined in our faith, faith against evil in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For thus, just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, host, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the highest. in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.
salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong kunlan. Misyong kaloob sa ating puso, aming sarili ay aming handog, laging tapat at laging tugon, dahil rito handa kami, Panginoon. 